I'm stressed out, viewers. I'm stressed out. I can't find attacking midfielders that are good. And I've I've sold everybody. Welcome back to Glory Hunter. It's Carnage. Hello, viewers. Good to see you. Welcome back to an episode of... Glory Hunter with me, not Special FM. You join us in the continuation of the transfer window. Since we last met, one game played a 1 0 victory over Betis. A very late, I say late goal, 60 minutes. Uh, Pedro Sanchez scored a banger. Well done, you, better left back. Uh, we played Barcelona today, as well as maybe Levante in the Spanish Cup, as. Oh, so much money. We've got £130 million to spend. Of course, the outs are, have continued to flow out of this uh, this building. I don't know why I'm doing it. I've sold six or five, so five. Really? Like, why am I doing it? Aquino, Biaz, Gutierrez, Brian. And I've bought in two strikers in Nguem. I don't get me wrong. £68 million for Nguem. This is up. This is up. He's world class. It's, it's written there. It says there, like, media, world class midfielder. But my worry is that what if what if I can't get anyone else in? The big issue I've got right now, to, to be frank, is that Akiza, right? I can't find many attacking midfielders better than Akiza. But then you look at his, again, whether you care about the star racings, it's not, you, you want to see a four star, five star, that's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want. Because on the surface, this guy pretty good so i don't really know i don't really know what the next stage is the problem we've got again is that is that philip gabe is is so much better than everyone else it makes everyone else look worse when, when then we're not actually that bad like and graham can stay with him of course he can look at the state of him and um i'm looking through attacking midfielders constantly trying to find ones that i think can fit in goalkeepers as well we've been looking for everyone's saying buy a goalkeeper all the best ones are ones i've had or at least looked at before aiden's there of course wolf uh, Aidy beck that we had in england and a few others that of course we're familiar with I mean, they're all pretty good. Rios has had a, an average season, one clean sheet for him. And then you look over on the other side of things, uh, Radu, who's played most of the games, seven clean sheets, 18 in 19. I guess the problem is, viewers, we're second. So do I really need a goalkeeper? Yes, of course I do. I don't know. I don't know what we do. I don't know. I don't. Right, we'll just play Barcelona and see how that goes. Emdal's injured. Good start. We're going to risk him anyway. He's got a little injury. What's the little injury? A tire hamstring. He'll be fine. Roman's on the bench. Everything's going to be fine. He's 17, but he's acting like he's 35 and he's on the decline. It's annoying. Right, Radu's going to come back in. Uh, he's going to play Vargas Velez. Shouting. Yeah, that's right. Shouting's back in. Sanchez, Zeno, Emdal. Either side of a midfield three of Dimitri, Nguem and Akiza to play behind Gab. If Akiza scores a hat-trick today, that's only going to make things worse. So far, 31 goals for Philip Gabe outrageous outrageous and it is said game like that so we've, we've, that's, that's game so just saying game now like Gabe Newell that's a reference not many people look at all right 4-3-3 come on Joe Felix up front the only real person alive in their team as uh Cano last time we played them causes a bother not this time mate now I think our 11 is is now better so look, the, the transfer window so far has gone well viewers and of course Diallo in the side now alongside Martinez we've got options off the bench which we've always had to be fair uh, they're just ones that I know now all right, first early chance here. As, uh, we'll just move that league table. Make it slightly small. You can see just how close the points are. And losing to Barcelona would be a real bother as Radu makes a brilliant save. Cleared away and, oh, for f***'s sake. See, if a goalkeeper, the goalkeeper's having a mare here. Now, we're still only like, sort of halfway through the January transfer window. So, there's still time to do things. I, I'll be, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if we'll do anything today. I don't know. We just sort of, I'm just in blind panic mode. Which, for those that have watched the videos, that is every other episode it's a good goal it's a good goal for this guy by the way attacking midfielder for Barcelona I've looked at him about 60 times he's not joining uh, he's, he's well scouted does he want to join does he eck just put another bid in for him 72 million just trying I'm just trying to ruffle everywhere viewers ruffling Rotter ball played in that's well that's obviously good seven minutes in viewers seven minutes in I think our best 11's better the words that came out of my mouth literally two minutes ago so that's good shocking Six minutes, eight minutes. I've gone attacking away at Barcelona, away at the new Camp. I could get beat 9-0. Gary Neville's on the bench next to me. He's shaking nervously. Oh, no. Hello? Has that gone in? We've scored. I don't... I've look, I was looking at Gary. I look back. Carnage. Vargas has scored. Uh, three dimensions? I think so. So, it's played in by Dimitri. It's headed in on goal by Nguem. And then... <laughs> sorry. Viewers. So, sorry about this, everyone. It's the... It, the, the ball... I don't really know what the ball does. Um, it's it's. It, I think it's. The, I think it's black magic. I don't know what's going on. It's dark magic. It's 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 magic. Just keep an eye on the ball as it just drops to the ground. It's it fell like a. It just smashed the floor. It's gone through the floor. If anything, there it is. Look. I mean, viewers, your thoughts in the comment section. Um, two one. 
<laughs> Dark Arts. I'll tell you now, Harry Potter would have been proud of that. Um, I don't know what it was. A, it was Leviosa, so I assume it's Vanguardium Salevi, which is the backwards version. Uh, Zeno's in on goal for us. We've scored a goal, and now we're 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 loving it. Zeno's gone for goal. He's missed. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's happened there. So I can't really explain it other than the fact that the ball is made of a stronger material than air. I don't know. That's all I need as well. Some confusing gameplay alongside this transfer mess. And it's all well and good, me sitting there going, let's just sign, let's sign some really good players. We're 3-1, 2-1 still, offside. We're 2-1 down to Barcelona, who, if they win today, just go above us. And then once again, you know, we go 15 years in the future and Barcelona and Real Madrid are still top two. So, excellent, excellent news. Yeah, you're offside, cheat. I've got to say, since going attacking and since sort of, you know, go, being a... I mean, it's, it's, it's like a puppet without the puppet, isn't it? I mean, hello there. You see? See that? You watch this. You take time out of your day every single day to watch this. And you're watching me do hello like that. That's you, that is. That's your, that's your fault. Don't think it wasn't possible either. Don't go, I just wasn't expecting it. That's really put me off the videos. And he's naked. That's the worst bit, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, I am. Oh, this is now, this is going on crazy. Corner played in. Gabe's there. He's never as good in the big games. I need to see goals from him. Emdal. Oh, Zika could have scored. Quick distribution for Barcelona as well as they look to break quickly. Doesn't quite happen as I thought it was going to, but they've switched it right across the other side. A shout in there has just gone for him. Why would you? They're going to go to VAR. I mean, it's been a while, viewers. Let's, uh... It's a free kick, actually. So, that was weird. Can I just say, that little ditty I've performed there, top notch. Rota, ball in, and if they'd have scored anyway, that would have been Heartbreak Hotel. Now, I do know a man that scored four against Barcelona once upon a time, and he's sitting on the bench with us today. Let's let's introduce him. A little bit of a knock for Emdal, who we're going to take off. Diallo's going to come on alongside Gabe, and uh, here they go. I don't know why I said that every time. This is a move I make quite often. Take a winger off, play sort of two strikers up on that side, especially if they're an advance forward, and with not long left to go... Will we see a late goal? Dimitri's having a quiet game. It's a free kick to Barcelona. If, if it starts to flash underneath, that'll be a real disappointment. It hasn't... Nobody's flashed. Keep it PG, Ben. Everything's fine. They're on the ball again here, Barca, as uh, Carlos Alberto uh, with the ball to the... Uh, Vargas. I don't know what's happened. They've, they've broken with it. Velez does brilliantly. wins it back. And now, can we break from here? He's found Gabe. And now, with 10 minutes to go... Can he beat his man? Can he find Diallo? He does beat his man. Plays it back to Zeno. Big job! Oh, yes! I want to press the ding, but it's the wrong whatever, viewers. We'll, do, we'll break the rules. Come on! Ordinarily, I, I delete the second audio track. So if, I, if I've forgotten and there's no dings, viewers, I can only apologise now. Gabe with the ball in. Zeno's there. Powered home. And uh, there we go. Lovely stuff. Zeno going massive, as we could still win this, viewers. Diallo on now, of course, as that is... That's a poor... That's a lap. Oh, they're in. Oh, still 2 2. Look at the way it's set right now 40, 41, 42, 40. It's like being in Germany, viewers. Of course, though, this game ain't done yet. As uh, Schalten was another challenge in this time, he doesn't give away any sort of foul. As Carlos Barso racing forward once again. Challenge. Oh, forward. Game's on it. And he's got one on one. Surely. Oh, no. How is he? That's your moment, mate. That's the minimum. And there's, they're in. They're in. Barcelona in on goal. Oh, my. What's going on? Unbelievably stressed out. Four minutes left to go. We're still attacking. Look, if we if we come out winners, then great. If we lose, viewers, we'll go out triumphantly. As uh, knocked down. Oh, you shit. Oh, it's, off, it's, not, it's, not, it's offside. It's offside. It's offside. I, I thought Radio had cocked it up. I think Silver, when he knocks it back, is off. We're not going to see it, viewers. You have to just imagine it in your own brains. Three minutes of added time left to go. I'm not making any additional changes. No. Come on. Not like this now. Not like this now. Challenge. Challenge. Carlos Alberto played back. Oh, my God. God. Right, 2-2. Two, two. Good result. Calm, calm. Barcelona 2, Valencia 2. Zeno with an equaliser. I'm far from pleased because we started off horrendously. But generally speaking, a good point away at the new camp. We'll take it. I didn't see it coming when we were 2 0 down. Not even a not even a not this is not a this is not an episode of of matches. This is an episode of transfers. And uh, so far. That's taking the cake, isn't it? I saw, I, I circled it. They couldn't quite see my hand. It was like that. It was like, oh, hello, you're back again. Hello. Oh, God. He's, sorry. 29. Baby on the way. Just practicing, viewers. Just practicing. <laughs> Honestly, Ben. I hope they don't. What if they watch these back? The amount of, like, you know, light bullying that's going to go on as a result of my videos. Oh, God. Uh, you may have seen there we've made a bid for Aragon. 
uh, and for Unavar as well, and for that. We've basically just bid for all the ones we would like. Um, we can't get them. They're never joining, but we're just dreaming right over here at Dr. Benji HQ. 100 million I've bid for Aragon. Remember him at Inter? He was unbelievable, wasn't he? Uh, Xavier Kabai, we could go back for him, but after he let me down. Norwich have bid for Zeno. 61 million. Of course, they've got quite a lot of money. I want 95 Norwich. So if you want to consider that, they they are negotiating, unbelievably. Uh, remove that, exclude that, and then boom, and they've they've run away. I didn't think Norwich and Valencia would be talking about sort of a, a, a 60 to 90 million pound deal. That's That has surprised me. Norwich have got some attacking players as well that I've been looking at. Um, they've built a bit of a god squad, and I've taken one piece of that puzzle away, and I want more. All right, uh, Cagliari, they've, they've come back with 140 million for this guy, um, who again, like, is better maybe in the final third, but as a creator, is not that much better than Akiza. He really isn't. Like, you look at John Akiza, we bought him for a reason. He's a like, he's actually really good. You know, mentally really, really strong. It's got some really nice technical attributes. He's not got that great at dribbling. He's not that great at finishing. But in terms of providing and creating, he is very good. So I'm not necessarily sure I need one. Goalkeepers, on the other hand, that's a different story. Sabiri as well at Norwich like imagine if he got him in I know and guess what viewers this is going to make you sick 54 million he was from Strasbourg we should, we should have moved instead I was busy spending 70 million on strikers this guy at Barcelona he's obviously they're just fuming no one I'm doing the suggest term things all the time no one suggests no one suggesting terms everyone's fuming we've got Levante Spanish Cup coming up and so far viewers again in the transfer episode you've seen Nothing. Uh, what we'll do, I think, at the end of or, or tomorrow's episode, whenever that will be, tomorrow's episode, whenever that will be. Oh, that's oh, that's a quiz, isn't it, viewers? When will tomorrow's episode be? I'm thinking maybe Sunday. I realise those watching in the future, you literally don't know. You won't. You don't know when it is. No, tomorrow, Friday. Is it Thursday today? It's Friday today. That is news, viewers. I'll be honest. That is that's happened to me twice this year. For I genuinely didn't think. Yeah, I thought it was Thursday. Okay then. I don't... Right, I've lost a day there. Uh, I've just lost a day. That's unreal, isn't it? That's unreal. I'm not editing this. I'm sitting here in silence trying to figure out how I've lost. Which day have I lost? Thursday. All right, scout offers are coming in. Bid offers all over the place. Uh, this guy, is a keeper at Fiorentina, not that good. But because I've been on the big scouting mission recently to try and find some goalkeepers, every time they get a bid or even mild interest now... Um, I'm told about it. So I'm just I'm just the news hub. Oh, Tim Fuller has been rated really highly at Hoffenheim as well. 24 year uh, 24 years of age at Hoffenheim. Really good creatively, but 94 million. Like I don't, I just don't think it's worth it right now. And I know what you're thinking, Ben, go for it. Kick Wolf there. I really would like to get Kick Wolf in. That's just not going to happen. This guy is the guy from Lille. Like he's maybe the one that is probably attainable. And quite good. How much do they want for him? See, they're not doing suggest terms. Tell me you want 45 million and we'll make it happen. 35 million. That's my offer. I'd, I'd, I'd pay that for him. Get him in here. And Dongala. That's how you call it. And Dongala. Uh, and let's seven clean sheets. Seven clean sheets. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, I'll tell you what. That's just, uh, Wow. I mean, Lee Gun is actually competitive. No one saw this coming. Five teams after 20 games all in the mix. Maybe PSG will finally sack their manager. Look at Alpa there. Best kit. Oh. God, how did we get him at Arsenal? Unbelievable. I'll bid again. I'll bid again. I'll bid, I'll bid 80 million for him. Bring him to me. They're just, they're not even, they're so unhappy. Another Diallo. Uh, I can't get two Diallos. This guy's on loan from Schalke at Mönchengladbach. He's, no, he's not, he's not quite at the level. And again, I'm not, I'm not bidding 140 million for this guy. They're out of their bloody minds. What about 80 million? What do you say to 80 million? 94. We're being reasonable. But still, it's too much. <sighs> unless, viewers. Unless. <laughs> no, I can't say this. I can't say this. Unless we sell Zeno, play the diamond, you know, bring in another really good striker, or just play Diallo. I don't know, mate. What do we do? You're second to play in this system. Why are you trying to why are you trying to do this? Problem is Champions League games coming up around the corner. Lazio in that competition. Obviously we don't need it, but it was still nice to you know take part. Uh, Levante today though. Cup game viewers. This is where this is where the party starts or continues, because it's already been pretty wild, hasn't it? All the transfers going on. Uh, right, here we go. Jonas can't believe this. He's on the bench now. Martinez has replaced him. Boss, do you know I'm here? Do you know I'm here? Why are you shouting? That's not what you do. Sorry, it's just he told me it works. Sorry, boss, that's my mistake. Shouting, please. I mean, you, you, it's very confusing now. Yeah, sorry, boss. It's all right, shouting. That wasn't shouting, boss. That was me. That was Jonas. <sighs> I, I don't know what's going on. Sorry, boss. It's all my shouting. That's what's done it. So is that you shouting? Yeah, that was shouting. Right, sorry. Sorry, shouting. No, that was me, Jonas. <sighs> what is... 
I t- Let's move on. The team is the same as the last time. Emdel's going to be more an inside forward. I, I get. I change it between winger and inside forward when I play Roman. Let's carry on. Oh, God, just just mayhem. Just just mayhem. Managerial mayhem. All right, come on, lads. Show me what you can do. Keep the run going. But of course, the progression in the cup. That's what really matters here, gang. And Gabe, this is his sort of game. This is where he comes alive, where he takes control and scores about six goals. So let's make that happen now, shall we, boys? Let's go attacking as well. Worked well against Barcelona. Let's do it again against Levante. There's a throw. Long throw from Vargas. I know. Oh, oh, Shelton. Sh I, don't, I, don't know how he's, I don't know how he's missed it, viewers. I don't know how he's missed it. They might show it again because it was on the line. No, why would they, viewers? It, although it was bl That one was actually close. Our long throw tactic, you're pushing those centre-backs further up. And they're, like I said, they're, they're causing carnage uh, up there, viewers. It's, it's, it's a whole, it's a May, May episode, isn't it? As the ball there is knocked around, the Levante have done very, very well. Bear in mind, Levante, second tier side. So I'm expecting us to win this one pretty handedly as Radu is forced into a save. Ah, Radu, do, do, push pineapple, shake her tree. Ah, Radu, do, do, gab down to Vargas. Gah, Gabe, sorry. Oh, bollocks. Philip Gabe. This this 1 0, and we lead. And. <sighs> I definitely, these aren't sport or gaming videos, are they? These are very much in the light entertainment category, I've decided now. I'm not, I'm, I'm moving away from gaming and football manager. And I'm very much just focusing on light entertainment. Corner ball, played in, MDAO, game again. I'll, do you want know what it'll be? Next episode you'll come here, I'll have a couch of celebrities next to me, just sort of talking through what's going on. Performing for us tonight, it's Noel Gallagher doing his solo out. No, no one cares, Noel, honestly. Um, just having a go at Noel Gallagher for no reason there. Are Oasis coming back, yes or no? No, they're not. Well, just... Wait until they are then, please, Noel. Um, I don't, yeah, it's Noel Gallagher, everybody. Um, performing for us after this match. Emdal racing forward, cuts inside, goes for goal. Oh, he nearly bends one into that far corner. As um, Coming up next, it's Jules Holland. Why is it always Jules Holland? He's always up next, isn't he, Jules Holland? Especially at New Year. It's always popping up. 1-0. Um, <laughs> some people watch these to learn about Football Manager. Imagine that. Emdal, 2-0. Management. There it is, look. There's another one for out of context FM. <laughs> Enjoy that. 2-0 up. Loving it. Looking good. Feeling good. And um, yeah, Emdal on hand to poke home. I mean, this is fine. Why are they wearing Barcelona's kit? Now, 2-0 to the good. And of course, progression in this competition is very important for the glory hunter uh, way of life. Uh, look, it's, it's not long left to go, viewers. And can you tell that I'm stressed out? I feel like every episode might end up being a little bit like this from now on. Because it's a case of like, just, I need to win all the stuff. Ramon, racing forward. Great! I mean, goodness, I'll clap it. Why not? Jose Ramon. Or Jose Ramon. Really good goal. Made us look like fools out there, viewers. As um, I'm not watching it in three dimensions. You've seen it in 2D. You know what happened. As uh, So far, 2-1 at half time. Closer than it should be. You're playing well. You know, I'm pleased. But come on, let's see a little bit more, viewers. Xeno on a 6.4 is, um, I can only assume, baffled by the transfer uh, rumours regarding his move to Norfolk. Sentences you didn't necessarily think you'd hear today. As uh, <laughs> that wasn't very good. Maybe slightly less attacking, a little bit more positive. Still forward thinking, but not quite as risk as a risk. No, we're going to be a little bit more risk averse. That's the phrase I'm looking for. As uh, Akiza, look at that attacking playmaker playing for his place today, viewers. Of course, as it goes over to Emdal, who scored. Was that a header? He's not particularly tall, viewers. He's six foot. He's surprisingly tall, viewers. He wins the header against the fullback, but I don't. I don't see him score headers ever really. As uh, in Gwem there, you can see there. Look, that's the creative genius we're looking for. As that has uh, been punched in by the goalkeeper. Poor from him. Could could Gwem play further forward? Can he play the attacking like midfield role? Not really. Not with happiness. I mean, people were saying actually that when I first signed, that Gabe could play it. We could play Gabe in behind Diallo maybe. I don't. Akiz is doing fine, Ben. Let him play. You know, to, to quote the parents in Coach Carter, let the boys play. Um, turns out they were wrong. The boys didn't want to play, actually. They wanted to uh, to learn. And, you know, credit to Samuel L. Jackson. Didn't get enough credit for all that, really. Good film. If you're looking for a sports film to watch, um, Coach Carter. So, obviously, don't watch it yet. Wait until this is finished. All right, three ones to the good. 15 minutes to go. Uh, we'll make a change. Why not? Why not? I'm going to bring Diallo on at right wing. Remember those days? Good times. Haman's going to come on for Shelton at the back. And Lataro Martinez is going to come on for Gabe. Come on, Lataro. As uh, they've nearly scored again. I should really pause when making changes, but I'm just too I'm just too excitable. Emdil's got an injury. Just made all three subs. Uh, he's got a bruised shin. 
should be wearing pads, shouldn't he? You want the players to get bruised shins on this game. Wear shin pads. 3-1 and uh, success in the cup once again. Now what we could do with is one of the rivals for this competition being knocked out, being just being wiped out of the, the tournament. Uh, so I'm looking through here. That has not happened in any instance. No, all the favourites largely have gone through. And uh, yeah, when's our, what are we doing here? When's the, when's the draw? The fourth round. Let's do that. Come on. Emdall's out for a couple of days with his bruised shin. Pads, mate. Wear shin pads. And there's about 10 days or so of the window left. And of course, next episode, then that's what we'll do. We'll bring you the the, the, the conclusion. What will I have done by the time we meet next? Um, Probably bought some sock puppets. So other than that, I don't know. We've got Saragotha. So there's your, there's your info. Uh, they are 15th in the top division. Uh, other fixtures are as follows. Again, most of the big sides do not face off against each other. As I think I think it is all seeded in Spain. So um, that was that was just why, as you can see there, lots of the sides on the right-hand side, favourites to go through. But anyway, Barcelona, though, that's probably the biggest game of the round. Is that a good thing, Is it all right, isn't it? Uh, that's going to conclude then transfer wise we did nothing I'll see you soon though next episode hopefully you still enjoy today and I'll see you again very very soon for a whole lot more you've, you've seen a little bit of my way of thinking 130 minutes to spend if there was one position one position I, could, I should spend it in what is that position comment section get involved with love with care from until next time goodbye goodbye <laughs> don't do it ever again I said maybe you're going to be the one that saves me